The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 425 pounds, Paul White. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. Colin, this one's going to be a real treat, Michael. And I know you feel the same way. Yep, so does King. And approaching the ring from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. I can't think of a time I've seen the WWE Universe this pumped up. What a match we're seeing. Talking to him earlier today, I can tell you that he's motivated to be remembered as one of the greatest to ever lace up a pair of boots. Who doesn't have that as a goal? This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see you as truly the best. I think when it's all said and done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. Oh, wait. Nice reversal. Quick thinking to avoid that. Hey, the elbow is one of the hardest parts of the body. Why not use it? It's always great to see Cactus Jack, one of the all-time great hardcore legends. Here's somebody who's willing to do just about anything to get to the top. I like it. That's the way it should be. Keep in mind, this arena floor is very unforgiving, even with the thin layer of padding around the ring. When Paul White wraps those giant fingers around your neck for the choke slam, forget it. There's no breaking free from his monstrous grasp. Back between the ropes. Oh no, wait a minute, Cole, what's he gonna do here? And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Yeah, charge! This Jack has found an answer here. It's a new year, ladies and gentlemen, and I, for one, can't wait to see what the next 12 months of WWE action brings us. Speaking of Paul White's monstrous grasp, take a look at his fingers the next time he goes for a choke slam. I swear his entire hand nearly fits around the whole neck of most WWE superstars. You know, I've noticed the same thing, Cole. It's freaky how big Paul White's hands are. They're almost like giant bear paws. Two. Oh, I think this man means business. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Four. 
Go out here, you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you could find yourself in a world of hurt. Oh, man, just look at the gargantuan size of this man. Paul White's size 22 boot is longer than most people's jacket sleeves. I mean, he is truly a giant, and he can crush his opponent anytime he so chooses. Three. Cole, oh. what's he got in mind? He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. He has turned this into a fight, and he's winning. King, you want to talk about hitting the nail on the head? Paul White's massive seven foot two frame makes almost everyone else feel like they're vertically challenged. Trust me, there's no way to describe what it's like being in the ring with a real life giant. I was never in there against Andre, but Paul White is the real deal. One move from him, it can be all over. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously rung there. Look out, that leg is just getting destroyed. I don't know how any weight can be put on. The shoulders are down! How's that for ferocious? It's like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Yeah. Brutal. Second time around, seems to work though. He got him! Cactus Jack knows how to assault the mental well-being of an opponent just like the physical well-being. King, I just cannot get over the size of this incredible move by Cactus Jack. Wow, here we see it from this angle. Makes the cover. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. What intensity. When you're beat up, the last thing you want to have to deal with is this amount of power. Quick pin. Hey, is this it? Uh, it may be. Not today. Too fast. Is Jack with the offense. Will this be it? I think he's got it. The danger level just picked up a notch now that the action is filled to the outside. If you're just tuning in, I want to welcome everyone to this broadcast of WWE, coming to you from the capital, the Golden State, Sacramento. Now with complete control. Uh-oh. I think what's happening now is something none of us want to see, and that's Cactus Jack getting on a roll. This man so unpredictable, so sadistic. No one can withstand human brutality of this magnitude. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Boy, he just got... out oh that 
That looked like it hurt. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Added insult to potential injury there. Whoa, a direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. This can be dangerous. He can't stay in this situation long. What a ruthless act. That is not a position you want to Oh, my. Put it in the books. This one's got to be over now. There's clearly something about his face that he doesn't like. Yeah, the same way I feel about yours. I'm not sure I can watch this. Three. The face is absorbing a lot of damage here. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his Seven. bell got seriously rung there. Back in the ring now. Yeah, let's just see how long they can keep it in the ring. Paul White! Choke slam. Paul White's too strong. Finisher! This match might be over. And here's a cover. Man, he's got to feel great. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. You want to talk about incredible high impact? Let's sport. see what happened during that incredible. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe. Here's your winner, Paul White. Nice victory here tonight for Paul White. You know, I don't recall ever actually being pinned but you would have to think it's pretty humiliating. What a match, and thank you for tuning in as we come to you live from Sacramento.